Next, Piz Buen, a sun cream brand owned by Johnson & Johnson. Now, the big selling point of its one-day-long lotion is six hours of protection, but you may need protecting from the lotion itself. The exodus is about to start. Over the next few weeks, millions of us will head for the sun and the beaches. But warnings about skin damage have made us more cautious about sitting out in the baking heat for hours on end, as well as choosy about the protection we use. Especially if, like me, your skin's sensitive and you tend to go red rather than brown. For us, having faith in a brand is particularly important. But we've been receiving some worrying reports from people who've used a product from one of the best known brands on the market. According to them, Piz Buin's one day long sun cream gave them serious skin problems. Janine Hanna from Ballyclare in Northern Ireland used it for the first time in 2011. The result, an allergic reaction that took two months to calm down. It was a hot day so obviously put the sun cream on and went to bed that night and woke up covered in a rash. Basically it was like really bad sunburn, so so hot and itchy, it was like spiders just crawling over you constantly. It was just bright red, tiny lumps, they nearly were like fluid filled lumps so they were. Um, just really horrible to look at. You can see that it is actually yeah, boiled, like yeah, it's, it it's, is. Bur it's, it's burning. Like, yeah, it's like fluid filled. Janine's doctor was unable to diagnose the cause of the rash and prescribed a steroid cream. As no connection had been made with the Pisbuin lotion, Janine went on to use it again. I put it on my arms and chest, went to bed that night um, and woke up once again with a rash, but this time it was only in my arms and my chest, so I knew immediately it was the sun cream. The rash was just agonise it was because at night I had to put ice packs on my skin and I had a fan constantly going as well um, just to keep try and keep cool. Janine's rash was so severe she had to have time off work to recover. Meanwhile others claim to have had similar reactions. Blotches, rashes and blisters that all formed after applying Piz Buin's one day long cream. But this is made by one of the country's biggest manufacturers of sun cream. And this bottle cost us 9 99 Can it really be the problem? So if I came to you with a reaction like this and told you that I just applied a new lotion, what would you diagnose? I would be suspicious of an allergic contact dermatitis with that clear history of exposure and then a reaction like this. It's a reaction in the skin when our skin uh, comes into contact with a particular allergen. It can cause redness, swelling, itching of the skin. So what kind of things can cause reactions like this? Well, when you think of the number of things we apply to our skin every day and then think of all the different things that are in those, uh, those creams, be, the, be those moisturisers or preservatives, uh, any of those can actually cause an allergic reaction. So if these problems are being caused by this Piz Buin product, it must be because of one or more of the ingredients listed here on the side of the packet. But which ones? After a series of clinical tests, one team of researchers think they may have identified a cause. We saw a series of patients who developed quite widespread allergic reactions, red, itchy uh, rashes over the uh, exposed areas where they'd used sunscreens and obviously normally away uh, when they were away on holiday and we found that it was caused by a particular chemical with a rather long name called C30 to 38 olefin isopropyl malleate MA. Over two years ago we actually published our first series of case reports of contact allergies to this chemical and recommended that urgent action should be taken to investigate the safety of this particular chemical. Other companies use this chemical too, and Piz Buin's parent company, Johnson & Johnson, put it in other products as well. But although these results were published more than two years ago, they don't appear to have taken any action. Despite the reports of extreme allergic reactions, the product's formula has remained the same since 2010. And since then, another ingredient, methylosothiazolinone, known as MI, has also been identified as a possible cause of the reactions. So many people are now allergic to methyl isothiazolinone in Europe that action now, today, is required to reduce the burden that, that allergy to this particular 
uh, preservative is uh, causing. MI is widely used in the cosmetics industry, so it's easy to see why experts like Dr. White are calling for its use to be reassessed. One in ten of the patients he tests are allergic to it. And when they display reactions as extreme as this, shouldn't the manufacturers take such calls seriously? Louise Holland reporting there. Now, Johnson & Johnson say the Pisbuin one-day loan lotion is safe and effective, containing only permitted ingredients and labelled according to legal requirements. They say the vast majority of people using it are satisfied with their experience, but they have received a small number of complaints about it, leading to skin irritation or rashes. They say these incidents equate to approximately 0.01% of sales, but they sympathise with anyone who experiences a skin reaction and say customers with complaints should contact the company directly. All complaints will be followed up and fully investigated.